Hey little beans, we are trying to reach 200,000 subscribers! To help us get there, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss any of my uploads. As I'm sure many of you guys are already aware, there's been a lot of conversation recently in the Raw High community about change. Particularly about how things are going to be changing going forward, whether that's new items, changes to existing ones, or of course, changes to the way Royal High functions in general. For you guys today, there is definitely one change that is slated to be coming very soon that I think is definitely going to influence how you should choose to play the game over the next few weeks. Hey little beans, my name is Bian, welcome back to another video. Before we get started, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell so you never miss any of my daily Raw High videos. And of course, don't forget to use Stacker B when buying Robux or Premium. Little beans, I think it's safe to say that the things that are happening in Raw High recently are certainly looking to be changing. We have some positive things changing and maybe some things that we maybe didn't want to have changed and also some things that probably should have changed a long time ago, but at least nonetheless, many of them are being sorted but there is one particular change that has been talked a lot a lot recently and that is regarding the magical enchantress skirt as you guys know the magical enchantress skirt has been talked about having a new update for a while Shia announced that he was planning on reworking the skirt back at the end of last year slash start of this year but we haven't really heard anything about it since other than the fact that he was aiming to have it out in Valentine's which obviously didn't happen. Now with that in mind you guys it doesn't necessarily mean that it won't come and in fact based on the current trends for tradery and other trading things in the game it would seem like lots of people genuinely believe there's still a good chance it's going to be coming. That's right, you guys. If you look at the trading trends or average trends for the skirt in general, you will see that the skirt is slowly increasing in price. Gradually and gradually, the closer we get to the middle of this year, the price seems to be increasing. That's because more and more people are trying to make sure they can get their hands on this legacy skirt before the rework comes out. Because if the rework does come out, then obviously the skirt will be worth significantly more. Now, it's no surprise to any of you guys that the skirt isn't the fanciest skirt in the game. We all know that the Magical Enchantress skirt is by far definitely not the fanciest, especially since nowadays the Magical Enchantress skirt in particular is a very old skirt. It is now a legacy skirt. You can no longer buy it. And the reality is people just aren't really that bothered about it anymore. But if the skirt is going to get a rework, this once somewhat affordable skirt is going to become more expensive. Because as you guys know, skirts when reworked are of course worth more because more people want to get their hands on them. So right now, you guys, the price for the Magical Enchantress skirt is somewhat low, but it is definitely increasing, increasing rapidly. If you guys head over to Tradery right now, which you can use to base your opinion on, you can see the Magical Enchantress skirt is already starting to go for 135,000 average diamonds. So the average trade right now, you guys, is quite high. But if you're lucky, you can still get some for much lower. There's some 100,000 diamond options, but there's also some that are also willing to sell them for less. Mainly because right now people are trying to get good offers for them. But the reality is they know they can't charge too much yet because the rework is not yet out. Here's the thing though guys, if the rework does release and you decide to wait for the rework before buying the skirt, you're going to see the skirt price immediately increase. The second the skirt is released as a rework, the pricing is going to fire up you guys really quickly and you are going to need to want to actually get it beforehand because if you are somebody who you think might actually want to get it later, you're probably going to really struggle with the pricing. I would foresee you guys that if the skirt does get a rework, it will probably go up to be more like 300, 350, maybe even 400,000 diamonds. Sometimes when things get reworked in the game, they even shoot up into the millions, you guys. So there is a very good chance that this is going to be a really pricey skirt that you're going to want to make sure you grab as quickly as possible. The reality is, little means it's not going to be easy for anybody who wants to be able to get this skirt once the rework has released. So that's why I really wanted to remind you guys to go ahead and get the skirt now while you you still can. Now, a lot of people have actually said to me, why bother getting these type of skirts? They're just not nice and they're hard to make outfits with. So I decided today, you guys, we're going to make an outfit 
for a little photo shoot using the magical enchantress skirt. So I'm going to try my best to make the nicest possible outfit using this skirt. I'm going to set the royal date filter on for just a minute so that I can actually see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do, guys, here is I'm trying to aim for something really, like, aesthetic looking. So I'm going to go for, like, a deep pink underneath and a light pink on top. And then the trousers that I'm wearing underneath, I'm going to reuse the same colours because you can't actually see the trousers, so it doesn't really matter. But I am going to actually toggle this so that they are the shoes instead. I think we have some. There we go. They're perfect. They look absolutely perfect. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab a bodice. Now, you could obviously use any bodice you want. It doesn't have to be an older one. But I'm going to try and get one that I feel will match really well with this skirt. And I feel like, personally, the Royal Rebel might go really well. Let's try reusing the same colours. Yeah, I was right. It does go really well. Okay. And then these sleeves, you guys. I'm going to keep the December's Dream arms that we have on right now. Actually, do you know what, you guys? I have an idea. I'm going to take the December's Dream sleeves off. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the December's Dream jacket on, the coat. And then I'm going to reuse the same colours. And then I'm going to toggle it to sleeves only. So that I've got, like, slightly thicker sleeves. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That is a cute outfit hack right there. Oh, wait. That looks nice. That looks nice. Okay, I actually might... I might... I might do that first, because on top of the bodice and with the skirt, this looky looks really nice. Hold the fur in a sec, you guys. Okay, I actually really like how that looks. Okay, let me go ahead and rename, recolor the glitter, sorry, to the same color as the actual coat itself. But it all matches so that you don't see the glitter. Yes! Okay, this is an outfit hack and a half that I have just discovered right here. You guys should check it out, because it looks good. I might still put some arms on there, because I think that... It might look nicer if there are some actual custom arms. I don't know if I should try the Royal Rebel arms. Maybe. Let's give that a go. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. I'm going to swap the boots, maybe. Actually, if I swap them to the... I was going to swap them to the butterfly heels, but that'll just be too high up. And then the skirt won't make sense because it should flop down. Okay. Lurky. I'm feeling really good about what I've made right now. Let me go ahead and get some pink makeup on instead so that it matches better with what I'm wearing. I'll take off these glasses because they don't really go with the outfit. I'm going to take off Dolly real quick, you guys. Okay, I'm vibing with this so far. And I'm going to actually change my hairstyle. I feel like something with like some really gorgeous braids in it, you guys, would look really nice. Oh, but that goes into the skirt. And <sighs> I'm trying to find one that doesn't clip into the skirt but is like still long, you know? The thing is, though, is, like, most of these long ones are going to clip into the back. So I might have to go for, like, a medium length hair. Try and stop it from clipping in. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it's got, like, a really gorgeous bun, you guys. That's cute. Um, okay. Go to the hairstyles. And that's called Brielle, right? Brielle. Brielle. Yeah, okay. I like that one. That one's nice, but we would need some bangs as well. Because it is obviously not really serving on the front here. Let's see what bangs would go nice. Uh, they kind of work. They work sort of as well. I feel like maybe those ones. I don't know because bangs are one of those things that are really hard to get like right in my opinion. It's really hard to find nice bangs for your hair. Um, I kind of stink at doing the bangs. Oh, that goes well. Okay. All right. Oh, wow, that's perfect. It even works well, really well with my hair color. The only thing I would say, you guys, is we might actually want to make the hair color glowing. Because when I take off the filters, it's not going to be that, as bright as that. Okay. All right. Let me put the, let me put the shaders back on. Ooh. Okay. Low key. This feels kind of magical. Let me go ahead and stand here. Let me, um, I'm going to wave and take a picture. Oof. And then I'm going to stand to the side. What does moving on mean? I don't, uh, oh, uh, wow. Yeah. So you want to leave moving on because that broke everything. Okay. Well, that's fine. Anyways, you can come over and have a little photo shoot with your outfit if you want to, you guys. But make sure you have moving turned on because otherwise... It goes a bit weird. Anyways, I just really wanted to prove a point here, you guys, that you can make an outfit look gorgeous using these old legacy skirts still. Because a lot of people think that because they're old and legacy, you just can't make yourself look nice with them anymore. Let's stand under this, like, pretty light here. 
and see how it looks. Okay, so we've got the Black History Month area behind us, of course. Um, let me just... And here is an important area, so we can make sure you guys can see it in the backdrop. In the backdrop here, there we go. Okay, I feel like this actually looks really nice, and I'm kind of proud of it personally. Let me know in the comments what you think. But I think I've just proven another reason why you need to get this skirt. You need to get it because it also looks nice. You can make a really nice outfit with this skirt, you guys. Even though it's been a long time, you can still make a nice outfit. All right, so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below what you think to this outfit. And let me know, have you already got the skirt? Do you already earn it or are you trying to get it? I think the rework is likely to be coming, you guys. So if I were you, I'll we'll try and get it. Thanks for watching, Little Beans. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to go ahead and use Stacker B when buying Robux or Premium. And thank you so much, everybody who already has. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.